Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Gemini. Gemini, this is your weekly general reading for the 25th of November through the 1st of December 2019. Please keep in mind this is an intuitive reading. I'm using the Archangel Gabrielle Oracle Cards, along with the Crystal Visions Tarot for your weekly general messages. Now at the end of your reading, Gemini, I will be pulling a Crystal Intentions Oracle for you. All right, so we have Open Your Heart to Love. Beautiful energy. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Spirit. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Gemini need to know this week? 25th of November through the 1st of December 2019. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Gemini. What does Gemini need to know this week? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we are ready. Situation of the week. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Crossing you is the Three of Wands. And your foundation is the Hierophant. Recent past energies, we have the Ace of Wands. Crowning you is the Two of Wands. Your new circumstance is the Tower. I'm going to clarify it. And we have the Four of Cups. All right. I like that. All right, from the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Four of Wands. Okay. So right off, we have the number sequence. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we also have the numbers 44 coming up here. Actually, we have one, two, three, four, five, okay? There is a message there for you. So you can uh, Google the angel number meanings to that, one, two, three, four, five, and also the number 44 for extra messages, Gemini. All right, thank you, Spirit. So let's take a look here. We have open your heart to love. The more you open your heart and pour your love into your creations, the greater their life force energy. You know what's interesting is you have the Ace of Wands here in your recent past. I feel many of you have had an aha moment, a creative idea. And Spirit says, give that idea attention. Whatever you're wanting to manifest and co-create in your reality, Gemini, give it attention. Take action on it. Because that gives it life. Thank you, Spirit. Now, we have the Four of Wands is the overall energy. This is one of the happiest cards in the Tarot. You know, whether you have a family or not, this talks about your joy, your happiness. Some of you are working towards laying a solid foundation that's going to be unshakable. Some of you may be building a home, purchasing, purchasing a home. This could even be property. Some of you are working towards stability and security within, within your home life. Maybe your finances. But I feel like it brings you a lot of joy. It brings you a lot of happiness. Now we have the Ten of Pentacles as your current situation. This is amazing. This represents the good life. You're taking care of yourself, good health, wealth, stability, security. This is what you're working towards. Some of you may already be feeling this energy. Oftentimes, this can represent the things that mean the most to you here in the physical world. Traditional family values. This is you knowing that there's magic all around you and you taking action on it. Again, I'm getting that creative vision. Some of you may be thinking about starting a new business. Maybe it's a new career. 
that is going to bring more of that emotional satisfaction into your life and more stability and security. Now you have the three of wands in your crossing position. This is beautiful. This is very positive. You've been planting seeds, Gemini. You've nurtured them. And you know that something's coming back from all the hard work that you've put in. Threes represent growth and expansion coming back into your situation. This is the energy of waiting on your ships to come in. Most importantly, you have foresight about where you're headed, where you're going. You know what you want. Now you have the Hierophant in your foundation. This is the energy of Taurus. This is what's driving you. This is what's moving you forward this week. This is a very powerful energy, very spiritual. This talks about commitment. This talks about you taking the keys that you hold within yourself and unlocking doors that maybe you felt were locked or walking down paths that you felt were blocked in your recent past. This is you knowing your worth knowing that you're going to achieve your goals. You're very centered. You're very grounded. Some of you are stepping up into leadership roles. This energy represents higher up institutions, organizations. For some of you, you're starting classes. Maybe you're the teacher in the class. You're getting together with like-minded people, having discussions. This is you understanding your true power. This is you understanding that you hold the keys to your success. Ace of Wands in your recent past. And it's still here because the energy is showing up. You're still feeling this. If you haven't already taken action on something, something that you want, something that you have a lot of passion about, do it. Spirit says go after it. Feed that dream. Give it life. Make it, make it real. Manifest it. You are the manifester and co-creator of your reality. This is starting a new adventure, a new beginning. Something that you really want. You know, you have a lot of wands here. You have so much passion and desire about what it is that you're going after. Your crowning position, the two of wands, I, it's just amazing. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. And it's mirroring the Hierophant, which is even more amazing. This isn't you being at a crossroads. This is you stepping into your personal power here, a sense of achievement. This is you knowing that there is no wrong path. There is no wrong door to choose from. This is you knowing that whatever you choose to do, you're going to own it. There is no wrong choice because you hold the keys to your success. Amazing energy. Your new circumstance is the tower. And I clarified it with the four of cups. This is a good tower. This is a necessary tower. I feel some of you are going to receive an offer here. With this four of cups coming through. And it's going to shock you. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Uh, I feel like it's going to be unexpected. This could be a new career opportunity, a career change, a new job. Some of you may even be re relocating. That could be what this Four of Wands is, you know? Trying to find a, a place in another state, another country, another town. It's exciting. You know, the tower is that energy of... For some of you, breaking down bad habits, maybe you're purging some energy, some feelings, so you can have a breakthrough, so you can move forward with your life, so you can go after what this opportunity is that's being offered. I feel like you've had many offers, more than even three, but you're going to know this offer when, when it comes in, and you get, you're going to know it's a blessing. There's a blessing coming here, and you're going to, you know, when you hear it or you see it, you're going to know it, Okay. Thank you, Spirit. I feel for many of you, you're starting an amazing new beginning. It may require you to maybe let something go, release something 
that hasn't been serving your best purpose at this time. So you can start to rebuild. So you can lay that solid, unshakable foundation. Open your heart to love. The more you open your heart and pour your love into your creations, the greater the life force energy. The Four of Wands. This is your happiness. You're building something here. You're ready to build something here. The Ten of Pentacles, you know, as your situation, this is what you're working towards. Some of you may already be feeling this energy of the Ten of Pentacles. You put in the work, and you know there's some type of reward. There's some type of growth coming back here. You have foresight about where you're headed, where you're going. You understand you hold the keys to your success right here. Some of you, this is a creative new beginning that's going to be, you know, a passionate new adventure that you're embarking on here. Whether it's career, job, this could even be a relationship. And you, you're owning it. You know, you're stepping into your power here with the Two of Wands. There is no wrong decision. Because you know you hold those keys to success. You may need to release and let things go. So you can rebuild. That's for some of you. Now for some of you, there's a big shock factor coming in here. Something that is completely unexpected. And it's good news. There's an offer, an opportunity here that's available to you. I'm, I'm getting a chance of a lifetime, Gemini. A chance of a lifetime. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Opportunity of a lifetime. Develop intuition. Use your psychic gift. Increase dream recall and the interpretation of symbols in all areas of your life. Transform and transmute negativity. I pay attention to my intuition and dreams. I easily interpret their messages. And this is the energy of the crystal amethyst. I'm going to hold that there for a moment so you can look at it. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Gemini. I love each and every one of you. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Gemini.